how to get 1000 times better at anything in 63 days. Make shitty shit and use the power of limitation. I use those two in a system that helped me get a lot better a lot faster. And by the end of this video, I'll pretty much have given you the exact system I use because it's meant for you. It's for you, my friend, for you. So I come with this concept as a music artist as well as a game developer. And so these were the questions that I needed to ask myself. Did I ask these questions? No, I sort of just stumbled upon them through watching tons of different YouTube videos that talked about little bits and pieces of this subject. So here are the two questions that I need to ask myself. First, what does the final result look like? Who are my favorite artists doing it? Uh, these, these fine folks around me right now, these fine folks, these are my favorite artists doing it. What does their music sound like? Is there any way that I can sort of just gesture at theirs? Cause I didn't think that I could be able to do that. Especially not at the time. Uh, can I get to even like, let's say like 75% of what they do? Cause oh, that'd be amazing. 75% of like Smino or a JID or a J Cole. That'd be amazing if I could get to that point. Um, the funny thing about that, there's no way to, to, to even get to 100% because they're not even at 100% themselves. There's always growth, there's always progression to be had. And for you to even get to 90% of what they're doing, you would have had to have lived their life path. Uh, for me to be able to do that, I would have had to live their exact life path. That's, that's impossible, that's impossible. And second, how, 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 how do I go about shrinking the scope? So rather than having to make like a four minute song, a four minute song with many different melodic pieces. I see that there's more space over here. Many different melodic pieces, uh, drum pieces, bass pieces, vocal elements. How do I get to the point where it doesn't take me too much to do all that? How do I shrink the scope enough to where I capture all the elements, but I still am able to do something within an hour? An hour is probably best, maybe 30 minutes? I know for certain subjects, for certain things, for certain interests, you could even shrink it down to 10 minutes, maybe even one minute. Um, so for me, what I ended up doing was, I limited myself to six tracks, only six of them. And not just limiting myself to six tracks, I also limited myself to only a minute worth of uh, Ableton time to uh, a minute worth of just time in general. Uh, the tracks had to be a minute long. And with that, I got to a point where in a singular day, I was creating three to four tracks. And these weren't just like, like it, of course it starts off as crappy tracks that you're not gonna do anything with. But after long enough, you get to the point where you're listening back to these tracks and hey, wait a minute, what did I pick up on? Was this me who did this? I, I picked up on something because there's no way I was able to channel something so cool in that short amount of time. I think this was, a. Uh, I got to this point probably the third time that I did this. Mind you, I didn't do this consistently enough. First time I did it was like two years ago. Last, uh, the time before, the most recent time was like a year ago. This time was the last month here. And most of the tracks that I had made in that time period are tracks that I would actually release. It doesn't need to take too long to do the art that you want to do. And if you can shrink the scope enough, um, as I shrunk the scope enough, what, what I should say, I believe, I believe, because I don't want to say, I don't want to put any like, you, you must, you, you. I believe if you can just shrink that scope to to being able to do something within a lot shorter of amount of time, even Bill Word, Bill Words talked about this. You, you guys know Bill Words? Like, uh, his channel. Dude's dope. I watched his interview with, 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 with Anthony Padilla. Freaking hell, that idea was beautiful that he captured in the interview of being able to shrink the scope enough that you actually are able to complete something, get to the finish line, and share it with people. Do that enough times, and you will be making art that is on the level of your favorites. That's what I believe. I believe right now, the art that I am able to produce is on the level of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what's the system I was talking about? I, I pretty much went over it. I, I, when we were talking about how to shrink the scope, you 
just want to take that whole thing, bring it into a small enough package. Uh, and at the beginning, like really do not be afraid of anything that you end up doing sounding like shit because what you're trying to do is just iterate. It's not about the singular song. It's about how many songs you're able to get out in, 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 in a short amount of time. How much, how much stuff are you able to produce in a short amount of time? Oh wow, look at that. In 60 days, in 63 days, you, you made 70 songs. Because some of these days you wanted to just do two. Oh my gosh, look at that. In 63 days. Oh my gosh. Wow! Ah, look at all the songs! It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so yeah, I, I hope you got through that whole video. Um, and and, and another, another thing that I want to say is repetition of an idea is very important. Uh, don't be afraid to rewatch this video. If you keep this concept as something shallow, it's not going to mean much to you in a couple of days. In fact, it's not going to mean much to you in an hour. You want to take this system and you want to start as soon as you can. If it's something that you think would be interesting for you. And then you want to repeat the idea again. So I would say maybe even write some bulletin points down. Just keep at it. Keep at it. Keep at it. You get yourself into a rhythm. Get yourself into a groove. You got this. I believe in you. Have a wonderful day.